Welcome back. Summer is officially here. A lot of fun activities oh, that yeah. you can enjoy outdoors. Metro Park CEO Brian Zimmerman is joining us live this morning in today's Cleveland Metro Parks Monday. He has more on this amazing new Lindsay Family Play Space. And you missed it during the commercial break. He was flying down those slides himself. <laughs> Brian, you were looking great out there. <laughs> With that that left uh, that 90 degree, but I, I still made it. <laughs> that was good, yeah. So this I'm amazed by this because you guys took a great spot up there by the picnic area, right at the top of Edgewater Beach, Edgewater Park, and you transformed it into this huge complex. And one of our uh, uh, engineers said they were there over the weekend, and they just fell in love with it when they got there. Well, it's, it's really interesting. This park, William Stinchcomb, our founder, actually had a hand in designing a lot of the features of this park more than 100 years ago. And it turns out through research that there actually was a play space here um, more than 100 years ago, which I think is really kind of fascinating that it returned here in the fashion that it did. The Lindsay play space just opened. Uh, it's 9, what, 940 here in the morning, and the park is absolutely loaded yeah. with kids. Damn. They're playing, they're enjoying. And I think the best part of this is that the socialization factor is coming back after the year of COVID, where people were isolated isolated and seeing kids working together and you had mentioned the water features, um, the slides, the, the spinny things, the cosmic rings. It's, it's, it's a very neat, very unique space here in Cleveland. I think it's so wonderful too because I mean this is for kids as you see with all the different things they can do there. Kids of all ages and all abilities as well. Absolutely. You know, it's interesting. I got a question this morning on uh, some playgrounds you see are the port and play. Well, this is Fry Bar and it's over two feet thick and it's really designed, you know, to, to be forgiving. And, you know, you've got the hopscotch areas here. You've got the log roll areas here. You've got the slides. You've got um, a wonderful cargo net. You've got kind of a fire um, a pole over there. We've got rock climbing walls. So we really have something for all ages and abilities. And we've seen some of the adults use it as well. And <laughs> uh, U.S. Bank helped sponsor this wonderful walk around trail here um, so it's ADA accessible as well. I saw the tables out there, the picnic tables uh, in, in the kind of the parking area. So at least the, so now the parents that can go, they can watch the kids, can kids can kind of have free reign out there. And like you mentioned, that socialization, boy, it's so good to have the kids and the families being able to get back out. Well, and it's neat too. I see kids working together on different features and, and they're talking and they're pouring water and they're talking about creativity. And then, you know, there's a metal pipe that they're going through and we've got a shade structure. And, you know, really the whole entire feel of it is, is designed to run in the grass and go up and down and climb on the rocks. And there's this risk reward benefit that, you know, isn't always seen. So this, this outdoor nature play is really designed to really um, spark the kids' imagination and, and really have them enjoy and interact with others. I love it. That slide. It's it's made it's out of gra like f grass. Now, what are the balls that are along the side of that hillside, Brian? How do how do they maneuver those? <laughs> Is that just supposed to be to be well, able to I'm climb up? Well, I'm laughing a little bit because <laughs> the the little girl just walked down like backwards. That was actually designed for people to go up to climb oh. up it. Oh. But I will tell you, it's been the exact opposite. Kids have been going down in reverse. We've seen head first. We've seen butt slides. We've seen <laughs> all sorts of different things. But all the different little dots that are there, those were designed to kind of climb through and climb up and on. So um, I find it fascinating when children and, and, and here's a little girl. She's going to come down head first. Yep. Uh, <laughs> she's loving it. Uh, I, and that's what it is. It's about creativity. And uh, that's what we love. I mean, you, you can't see me, but I have a smile on my face because of all the children that are out here. They're climbing on the, the there's a tree uh, with different holds on it. And we've got the walls. We've got, again, the cargo nets. There's really, I mean, something for all ages and abilities here. Hey, Brian, before we go, does this kind of complete the, the Edgewater concept for you or are there more things that are to come? You know, I think we are always looking to expand. And, and when I really think of our trails and trail connections, our Whiskey Island trail connector is now complete. Our Wendy Park Bridge is complete. Um, we've committed, uh, completed a number of community connectors. We're really looking forward to our partnership with the city of Cleveland on Canal Basin, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, yeah. on how we're going to put together Canal Basin Park. Irish Town Bend is a big project that we're all collaboratively working on. So honestly, there's still more to come. Uh, but this is really pretty exciting. The Lindsay Family Play Space here at Edge water park love it he sh that you should be all be so proud because yeah. the, the joy that you bring to so many families throughout Northeast Ohio this is one of our biggest assets here and it's just it's incredible every it seems like every month almost but really it feels like every month but truly all the time you are constantly updating doing new things yeah. making it exciting for everyone it's just it's wonderful yeah. Well, guess what's coming at the zoo, the zip line, and I can't wait to get Kenny out there uh, to race him. So it'll be, there'll be a new challenge laid down. And, and you'll probably win like you always do, even at the, at the toboggan shoots. Yeah. Well, you know, 
together. I, I think we actually tied the last time, though. Kenny, Kenny got me by a little bit. Just I, I, I think he did. So I'll, I'll have to give him that one. But okay. you know, we'll we'll see on the zip line for sure. All right, Brian. Thanks so much, CEO Brian Zimmerman, Cleveland Metro Parks, part of our Metro Parks Monday there at the Lindsay Family Play Space. Go check it out too. It looks amazing. It looks incredible. Yeah, it really does. A lot of